Ethiopia's first satellite, ETRSS-1, heads into orbit on Friday. This remote sensing satellite is expected to be used for agriculture, predicting disasters and improving forest development, among other things. An Ethiopian delegation is already in China from where the satellite will, will be launched. Talks have also been held with Chinese counterparts in Beijing for future negotiations. CT10 Skurumchala reports. ETRSS-1 will soon join other satellites in orbit with an Ethiopian flag on it. Ethiopia's delegation, led by the Minister of Innovation and Technology, is already here in China to witness the launching of this historic satellite. For me, it feels like uh, the 1957, that uh, the first ever uh, object, man-made object, was put in place and that is Sputnik by the Russians in 1957. So for me now, I feel like that exactly. So this is the first ever Ethiopian object, Ethiopian satellite to be put in space. Part of the delegation to China is also Ethiopia's head of space science and technology institute. He says the satellite to be launched will be highly instrumental for the country. The purpose of uh, ETRS is one uh, are three important purposes. The first one is really to, inc to introduce our engineers with a new technology and tra transfer knowledge and technology to Ethiopia. And the second one is uh, building national image and showing Ethiopia is able to explore space. We have an instrument that can explore from, from the ground to into space using the telescope. Now from space into the Earth. And the third one is, uh, since our economy is mainly based on, on uh, agriculture, then this remote sensing satellite is used to analyze and bringing the different images of the agriculture and water management system, mining system, and environmental monitoring. This microsatellite is not only the first of its kind for the Eastern Africa state, but also an historic eye-opener for similar missions coming up. Ethiopia is already holding talks with Chinese counterparts for a 6,000 kilograms communications and broadcasting satellite launch as soon as possible. The next milestone that we need to celebrate is a 6,000 6, kilogram uh, first Ethiopian communication satellite to be put again in space in at, at an altitude of more than 38,000 kilometers on the geostationary uh, orbit and that's, that's going to happen in three years' time. So the feasibility study and other uh, uh, research studies have already been conducted and what is uh, remaining is the financing part of the project. ETRSS-1, the multi-spectrum microsatellite, is also motivating Ethiopian authorities to foresee the training of locals as a future deep space scientists. The plan here is to send Ethiopian astronauts to space in a decade or a decade and half time. Grumtala CGTN, Beijing, China.